Hello guys, I mean, this has been so long since I made a video, it's probably about a month now, but I'm back basically, we've got starting my brand new language course on Quenya. So the plan is, and I'm sorry a video hasn't been out for bloody ages, the plan is that I'm going to do this episode on the alphabet, and just this episode, because really to edit the alphabet into literally every episode I'll do would take me just too long, so... I'm not going to do it. So we're going to use the alphabet for this episode and then for all the other episodes I'm going to do sort of grammar and stuff like that. I'll just use sort of Latin transliterations of stuff. But anyway, so we'll get on with this. This episode, as I said, is going to be the alphabet. Next episode, I might get into nouns and plurals and things like that. So, basically you've got about 24 consonants approximately in Quenya you've got few extra letters but then to do your vowels you don't have a separate separate letter you've just got little symbols so we're just going to get on with the consonants for now so you've got basically T and they give they give examples of all of these so T a P a C or a K so you don't have sort of you have you'll have a different letter if you for a C or a K, it's going to be something like calm or something like that. Not, I don't even know, I can't even think of anything right now. But, you know, you get my gist. It It's basically always pronounced like a K. You've got a qua, is in like a question. And, so N-D, like and, <laughs> I suppose. And, so they give an example here called umbar, which is probably pretty good for that. Ung, so N-G, so ingot, for example. Ungwa, I don't know, Ingwe Malmsteen. If you don't know who that is, search up on YouTube. And if you like guitars, there you go. Th or sir, basically pronounce it like a th. A th, as in like fire. You have a k, so k h. But you pronounce that like a h, basically. You've got a qu, you've got a k h w, so it's a h, it's a hu which is sort of, I don't even know an example of that. You've got an unt, so an NT. MP, so ump. Unk, so NK. Unkwa, NKW. N, M. N, different word for N, no, it's a slightly different pronunciation. Unwa, R, V. E, well, what, a Y. And a wort or a ver. That's basically all the consonants that you're going to need to know. But then we've got a few extra letters that they put in because, well, he likes that. So, we have another word, for, we have another letter for r. We have an rd, so rd. We have a l, uh, ld, so elder. A s, another s. Which is just it written differently. A double s or a z or an r or whatever. So it pronounces like az or are whatever. Another one of those, but it's just reversed. A h. Now this is odd. There's another letter there. There's a y. Another y. These are all just sort of different spellings of them. Whatever. A w. Uh, another h. And these two letters are called a short carrot and a long carrot. Now I'm going to come into detail about those later on at some point. Because they're kind of... If you ever do something like... If you've ever studied Russian or Cyrillic languages or anything like that, you'll probably have an idea of what a short carrot and a long carrot is. But I'll come on to that. Now, the vowels are slightly more tricky. Well, they're not exactly tricky. They're actually as easy really what you've got is instead of having a separate letter you've just got a set of symbols that you put above or below the letters depends on if they're coming before or after it so if you have for example for example to put an a so an a you do three dots on the top or three dots on the bottom in case it's like so basically if you have if you're 
if you're saying something like the word for Quenya, okay, obviously the last two letters of it will need two separate symbols because a year is a separate symbol to just the letter Y. So what you need to do is the letter that comes first goes under the symbol and the letter that comes second goes on top of it. So if I'm saying Quenya, I'll have the symbol for year below the symbol, below the symbol for uh, N, I'll have the A above it because it comes second. You then have E, well, one, how you'd write an E, which is literally like an acute accent in French over the letter. An I, which literally just looks like an I if you with a short carrier. Or just put a dot over whatever the letter is or below it. An O, which is sort of a little sort of upside down hoop. Um, a U, which is the same as that, so sort of flips over. A Y, as we've already gone through, is two dots on the top or two dots on the bottom, depending on what it is. An A, so an A with like an acute accent, so a sort of R. It's three dots on the top, like a normal one, but you'd use a long carrier instead. Or a little sort of triangle, half triangle. You've got an A, sort of um, like an E with an acute accent on top. That's just a long carrier with an E symbol on top. You have an I or E, which is a long carrier with a dot on top. And basically you have long carrier forms of all of these, of all of the main vowels, which just sort of expanded a bit. So you've got, if you have an A with a short carrier, you have an R with a long carrier, and so on and so forth. And so the vowel placement is quite you do need to make it work and it's it could be tricky at first but you really do get used to it and it's just it's just a case of thinking right which vowel comes before which what and so that's basically it you've got I'll put the numbers up on the screen now and that's yeah that's basically all of it so you've got and I'll show you a little bit of Quenya text now that's the kind of thing that you could be faced with in these courses if you didn't learn the alphabet and I don't want it to be like that so I'm not going to make you learn the alphabet I'm just doing this one episode on it just to sort of you know make it slightly more bearable but anyway so we're not going to use the alphabet anymore this is it if you want to use it then by all means you can translate this transliterate the stuff I write in English in Sequenia but I'm not going to force you. So this is the first episode. Next episode I'm going to get on to possibly nouns, plurals, that sort of thing. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like it. Leave a comment. And that's about it. Thanks guys.